I'm standing here um, outside our church, which is in Kalinchi Street, Cumber. And if you're familiar with the layout of Cumber, uh, you will notice how we're always close to the countryside. Just a small town here, not far from Newton Art. One of the things about living here is you get familiar with some of the names of the townlands. A townland being a small piece of uh, ground, an area, uh, identifying um, with a locality. For example, if you go way back to around 1100 in the medieval period, throughout Ireland, you had townlands which would have been used for perhaps collecting taxes or paying various tolls. It was an administrative sense, but it had evolved all over the centuries. Townlands are peculiar to Ireland as an island, and uh, their names capture the imagination because they, the name is a mixture of what we might say Irish, English, Anglo-Norman, Scottish, with the movement of population throughout the centuries and even more than a thousand years, you get this amalgam when you get a name. I mention it because living in Cumber, as I said at the beginning, and you're out in the country, we have some wonderful townland names. Here's one. Bally Alta Killigan. That sounds super. Bally Alloloy. Bally Record. A lot of ballys, which is a particular feature of Ireland. Here's a map someone gave me, and uh, it just shows Cumber there, uh, Kalinchy down here, you have Strangford Law, and then the main road out to Newton Ards. And as I get these names, as you can see, all marked. And the townlands are not uniform. You have large, you have small, and it always challenges me to think of how the, uh, the lines aren't even straight. And why that is the case, I don't know. But as I mentioned, it's the names that are striking. Because in a townland name, when you analyse it, it's usually a picture from nature or from the terrain or some feature geographically. Uh, it's a bit like the Irish language as a whole. It's pictorial. You identify a location by a picture, an image of the local geography. Now, we're going to go on a wee trip now. Um, we're going to start from Cumber, and um, I think we'll go out to the east coast to Ring Privé. That's the first townland, just on the edge. And then we look across and there's Scrabble, which at least is a well-known landmark, but that's the townland. And then we go back into Cumber and out the Belfast Road heading to Dundonald, and uh, we'll come to our, a townland called Bally Rainey. I'll tell you the meaning of each of those words when we get there. As you see from the sign, we are at Ring Creevy Road. And uh, even though that's uh, the title for the road here, we're thinking of the townland around me, uh, standing in front of a field of cabbages, good fertile ground, just moving out to the east and towards the coast here. Ring Creevy, and you see the words of the original phrase coming up on screen, and that means the headland of the branch or the headland of the tree. Well, presumably, there's been something significant about a tree or a branch, and hence the townland got its name. You see the picture now. When we're here, and if I look across from the carriageway, we'll come to Scrabble. And uh, we go across there now. With Scrabble, a well-known uh, landmark, but it identifies the townland. There are a couple of words coming up on screen. We're not sure which of them uh, is the origin of the townland name of Scrabble today, but it's one or the other. Uh, the first one means scraggy or thinly covered ground. The other one means a turfy meadow 
of the cow. Looking at the terrain around that area means they got the name Scrabble. You see the colourful language in both townlands that I've mentioned today. Now we're going to go to uh, the other side of Cumber, the Belfast Road to going to Dundonald and we touch base with Bally Rainey as our final one. You've just seen the sign for Bally Rainey Road on the other side of Cumber heading towards Dundonald. We're standing at the road and as you move into the countryside so you move into the townland of Bally Rainey. The word which comes up on screen in the original meant the townland of the ferns or the townland of the bracken. It took its name from the physical landscape around it, where obviously bracken and ferns were quite predominant at one time, and hence the name Bally Ring. We're back again in the town of Cumber after our little journey round three townlands. I'd mentioned about the language being colourful to identify the spot. When you go into the Bible, you find that the Hebrew language used in the Old Testament has similarities. It's a colourful language. I'll give you an example. When I use the word trust, which is an important word in the Bible, and you go into the Old Testament Hebrew language, you can find different words for that idea of trust. And the word gives a colourful image. Let me take you through the first one. Uh, and these are only three, there are others. Trust means to wait for something in hope. And that word that we translate as trust has that bigger picture. So someone might say, you know, I'm trusting. That means I'm waiting with a very sure hope that is going to happen. Another word for trust would be to take refuge inside something. You imagine it's a wet day and you take shelter uh, in a cave. You've gone into the cave and you're secure from the storm. So I trust in God means I take refuge in him like going into a cave when the storm's all around doesn't mean I haven't got wet, doesn't mean I'm immune from it, but I have got a security there. And so the image conveys the meaning of the word. And a final one, uh, I trust, and the Hebrew word means to lay your weight upon and it will keep you up. You could go to Psalm 125 in the Old Testament in verse 1 and read these words. Those who trust in God are like Mount Zion that will never be moved. And the image is of almost a strong mountain and you have laid your weight upon it and therefore it will hold you and you will not be shaken down. I think of this picture when I read that verse. The picture that hits all of us when you approach Edinburgh City in Scotland. You and I know it well. You see Edinburgh Castle up on that big basalt rock. And even though the centuries have passed and it has been besieged, wars have occurred, it still stands because the rock doesn't let it die. You and I are facing another time when perhaps there seems to be an increase of the COVID virus. We look to the future. We maybe think things are uncertain, health ways, job ways, in so many ways. And yet, those who trust in the Lord in that sense, who lay their weight on Him in their faith and belief, will know that He can keep us and hold us like that solid rock. Therefore, we can face tomorrow. Psalm 125, verse 1. Those who trust in God are like Mount Zion. 